Welcome to our Five on Five. Please be joined by Dr. Lenita Witt, Democratic Jackson County Commissioner candidate. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thank you. So I'm delighted to be here. Yeah, very, very glad to have you. So tell us what, what in your background has prepared you f for a role like Jackson County Commissioner? I've been a physician for 40 years, and 30 years I have spent working in the Rogue Valley uh, in Medford, at, first at the OB-GYN Health Center and then Providence Health System. And for 33 years I have been um, the co-owner of Willowit Ranch. Uh, it's 445 acres with 280 acres of forest that we have done restoration work on, uh, taking out diseased and dying trees and building healthy forest and doing a logging project about every four years. And we've done wetland restoration and we have a small business going to growers market as well as agritourism. So I feel the experience as a physician looking at the causes of issues and being a clinical detective, as well as understanding our resources in forestry and water, that I have firsthand experience in those aspects of what it takes to live in this type of resource-rich environment. Okay, and, and what do you think is the single most important issue facing the future of Jackson County? I think our economy is suffering in many ways with a lack of living wage jobs. 40% uh, of our population who are employed live at the place where one medical bill, one car accident could make them homeless. We have a deficiency of uh, living wage job housing for our uh, working uh, folks. Um, we have uh, issues that come around that with the criminal justice system with the lack of housing, lack of transitional housing for people coming out of addiction. And that is also involved in uh, mental health issues. So it's a triangulated situation that is uh, self-perpetuating in many ways. What should the Board of Commissioners do to bring more business to the Rogue Valley? I think we need to be proactive as leaders working with our schools in educating for trades and collaborating throughout the valley so that we bring, skill, bring up the skills of our workers in the valley. And you have to have housing. Many businesses can't come because there's not workforce housing. So I think housing is key and the county needs to collaborate with all the people working on housing issues in the valley as well as realtors to find ways to make housing that is affordable. Looking at infill um, apartments in downtown on the second and third floor of retail businesses that could be apartments, um, homes, uh, people live in cities. I think it would also help vitalize uh, downtown Medford. I think that's possible in many areas. I think we need to look at um, our uh, ADUs in the county, accessory dwelling units, which are not legal usually in rural areas. So there are many ways that I think we can provide leadership and collaborate with the people who know this role and where we're deficient. Okay, we're gonna take a quick commercial break. Stay okay. with us, we'll be right back. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Democratic Jackson County Commissioner candidate, Dr. Lenita Witt. Uh, I want to ask you, is there anything you would do as commissioner to prevent or, or mitigate another terrible fire season? I think uh, our attention has always been on putting out fires, and there's more effort going into having uh, tanker helicopters to address putting them out. But I think at the same time, we need to really start working on uh, boundaries around cities and towns. Uh, with clearing understory and brush. And then I think we also need to work along all roaded areas, and that's R-O-A-D-E-D, -E -D, to do understory management so you create a fire break. You can do one yardage front to the right and left of a roadway and decrease the understory, leaving big fire resilient trees or fire resistant trees and taking out that understory so that you create a fire break along the road so you make a patchwork that we could have a 500 acre fire instead of a 5,000 acre fire. And I think we also need to look at our contribution to climate change here in the Rogue Valley because we're driven by drought and excessive heats in the summer and there does not look like there'll be a turning around point to go back to business as usual. I also think working in the understory, we could create a Job Corps program for youth. They work two years in the forest and get uh, free tuition to technical trade school or college. I think those are positions that can be brought in at the state level. And we start utilizing some of that small timber out of the woods to make glue lambs, cross-laminated timbers, and create another green industry that completes a full cycle of utilizing what we have in the woods. Thanks for being here. Appreciate You're it. You're welcome. Right. My pleasure. Right. Stay with us. We'll be right back.